Hi, I'm Mark Tour, and I'm the author of the book, How to Be a Sales Superstar, Break All the Rules and Succeed While Doing It. I want to talk about chapter four of this book, which is getting what you want right now. You see, all the traditions of the things that you've heard and the teachings and sayings, things like um, uh, you got to climb the ladder of success. You have to pay your dues. Well, I know that those things are meant with good intentions, but they lock in a negativity that makes you believe that it has to take forever to get what you want. And that's simply not true. You see, you are who you decide to be at any given moment. When you begin to walk, talk, and act like the person you want to be, getting what you want, you're becoming that person. But the reality is you're already there because you made the decision to be so. And when you made the decision to be who you want to be, to get what you want, you're moving in that direction, but your mindset is already there. You're going to go forward faster, quicker, and break through barriers that you never had before. You have to have a belief system and confidence to get yourself there. I believe you got to be contrarian. That's opposite, different, and unique. And when somebody says to you, you have to do these things, pay the, the price, and, and although well-meaning, I want you to think totally opposite. Rich people don't get rich by following what everybody else believes and everybody else thinks. Lemmings are little animals. They follow each other off a cliff until they die. You cannot be a lemming. You have to be contrarian. Be wary of your advice and counsel that you receive from others. Make sure that you're getting it from people that know what they're talking about, demonstrated in a way that they've been successful sometime in their life. You see, what I believe is Traditional goal setting, and I'm going to say that word, that phrase again, traditional goal setting can keep you broke. I believe in goal setting, but when you set goals, often you may set them in a way that is stated in a negative. I want to uh, lose weight. I want to diet. I want to pay off debt. And all those things are great things, but they're stated in a negative. They're stated in a scarcity-based manner that they're not focusing on the positive. In other words, if you were looking to pay off debt, the thing you would want to gain is abundance. You want to gain an abundance of income through value, value given, value received in the form of money that would allow you to pay off whatever you wanted, but you must focus on the abundance, not the debt itself. What you focus on is what you will get. I think it's Ralph Waldo Emerson that said that uh, whatever you give energy to is what you will receive or what will grow. So if you're focusing on debt, you'll get more debt. Focus on the abundance instead and you'll see a difference in your mindset. It's hard to get excited about being out of debt. You're thinking about the idea that it's going to help you and it will, but you're focusing on something that creates an emotion that's not good. If you're focusing on an abundance and what you can do with that abundance, you'll notice your emotions are much stronger, much happier. And behind every goal that you ever get and receive is going to be an emotion. Think about the emotions and try to tap into that in your mind, in your heart, visually, mentally, physically, of what that's going to feel like, look like, even taste like. What's it going to be when you get to where you want to be and what you want to do? The other thing is you got to think about what is your leverage. Based upon what we just said, what is going to be your leverage of pain or pleasure? Will you have pain if you don't get there? Will you have pleasure if you do get there? Everybody has a certain leverage point that gets you to take action. And if you're focusing on the negative, it may pull you into the negative. But if you focus on the positive, it may push you and give you the leverage that you need. You may need others to give you leverage. It can't always be done by yourself. Rarely does anybody accomplish a goal just by themselves. <clears throat> when I hear the phrase self-made man or self-made person, I believe that's a fallacy. Behind every self-made person is probably one or many groups of people uh, or teachings that has helped that person get to where they want to be and receive the goals that they're looking for. So I want you to think about in your mind's eye, what I call your mind's eye and visualization, what it is that you want to accomplish, what you want to do, be, see, achieve. When I was a youngster, I went to a basketball camp. And in this basketball camp, there was a free throw expert that helped people shoot free throws and get better at it. So he would line us kids up in groups and he would record how well we did in shooting 10 free throws. But then he took us and without shooting 
basketballs at the hoop, he showed us all the techniques on how to properly shoot a free throw. But then he had us close our eyes and envision it in slow motion as we were doing it. And he would tell us, as you're releasing the shot and you pronate your wrist, see the ball spinning backwards, it's spinning backwards, it's spinning backwards. There's a nickel on the rim and it just goes over the nickel into the net, swish. And then he had us open up our eyes and he had a full-size goal on a rim with a nickel on the rim. And he said, now I want you to see it. Close your eyes again and see that ball leaving as you go through your technique going into the net whoosh. Well, all of us kids now shot another 10 free throws and he recorded the results and guess what happened? Almost all of the kids in this huge camp did much better the second time around than the first and we had not shot any practice free throws physically. It had all been done in our mind's eye in the visualization technique that painted a picture in our brain of what we wanted to happen and how it was going to be. Very powerful and I would invite you to try it. I would invite you to write a sentence. I am or I choose to have and write down whatever it is that you want as a goal. I choose to achieve happily, easily, and without conflict, blank. Whatever that goal is. Or more. Always put or more. Never limit yourself on what you can receive. Do you notice the words that I'm using? I choose. In other words, you choose what you want, nobody else. It's your power, your intention. You get to choose. The world doesn't keep you from it. You're not limited. You choose. Easily, happily. It doesn't have to be a struggle. It doesn't have to be if it's work, hard work. It just has to be work. That's all. So state it in a way or more. That way you can get even more than what you may think that you want to receive. Uh, think about who can help you. Think about what can help you. Think about reaching out to others and to find other ideas, uh, other people that can guide you in a way. Uh, somebody that's already done what you're looking to achieve. In other words, you cut, a, cut away all of the excess and you get a direct line based upon their experience. I would also invite you to write down whatever your skills or talents are that you know that you have. Reinforce to yourself that you do have skills, that you do have talents, instead of telling yourself what you don't have or why you can't do it. Always look to what you can do rather than what you can't do. Impress what you express. And then habits. What are your daily habits? Write down 10 daily habits that will help you get to where you want to be that will keep you focused on daily actions. And one last thing. Try a 100-year interview. I would invite you to think if you were 100 years old and somebody were interviewing you about what you wanted in your life, what would that look like? It will force you to look backwards rather than just forwards. Once again, I'm Mark Tewart. I'm the author of How to Be a Sales Superstar, Break All the Rules and Succeed While Doing It. To get the first chapter free and get several free bonuses, go to superstarbookvideo.com and here's to you getting what you want right now.